Interesting question. Does anybody remember almost a year ago when I said this? But before Donald Trump got elected in 2016, every single person in the Republican Party hated him. Lindsey Graham, Ted Cruz, all those fucking people hated him. But right after Trump made that famous announcement on TV, telling Russia to find Hillary's lost emails, Russia hacked the DNC and the RNC. Instantly, every single Republican was his best friend. It's a really weird occurrence, isn't it? Where you go from thinking that a guy is the Antichrist and a con man, and then the next day you're kissing his ass. And not only that, not a single thing from the RNC server was actually leaked. I wonder where all that information is. I wonder who has it. So I pointed that out almost a year ago. That when the DNC and the RNC were hacked, nothing about the RNC was actually released to the public. So it kind of makes you wonder what happened to that information. It's been speculated for a long time that Donald Trump may have compromising information, i.e. blackmail, on other members of his own party. Which is the only explanation why people would go from absolutely hating Donald Trump, like Lindsey Graham and Ted Cruz, to suddenly kissing his ass the second Donald Trump got on TV and asked Russia to look for those emails, and both were hacked. Do we need any more evidence than what Donald Trump just said about Nikki Haley? And just a little note to Nikki. She's not going to win. She's not going to win. But if she did, she would be under investigation by those people in 15 minutes. And I could tell you five reasons why already. Not big reasons. A little stuff that she doesn't want to talk about. But she will be under investigation within minutes. He is blatantly, publicly, on TV, blackmailing Nikki Haley. Saying that if she doesn't drop out, he has information on her that would get her investigated. If we ever needed any more evidence that Donald Trump and Russia were working together, especially to blackmail the Republican Party, this is it.